for the Ironman 70.3 triathlon is back in Chattanooga. This is the fourth year the Scenic City has welcomed athletes from all around the world. And Kayla Streeter joins us now live as event organizers are starting to set up today. Kayla. Hey, good evening. So the event is going to be taking up lots of uh, area of downtown Chattanooga. You can see the Veterans Bridge right behind me, the beautiful Tennessee River. This is some of the course where those 3,100 athletes will be competing. Take a listen to some of those. Running in the heat and humidity. It's all part of the months long training for these Ironman athletes. You're training when people are sleeping. You're training at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. This is video from last year's Ironman 70.3. Sunday's race will be Christine Martin's first triathlon. Her goal is simple. I just want to enjoy the day and finish in a timely fashion without injury. Her husband Bruno is her coach. They are part of the YMCA's precision endurance team. On a weekly basis, they might have somewhere between 15 to 20 hours of training. The Martins live in Chattanooga, but they're working with athletes from other states and countries, including Jose Canosa from it's Portugal. It's a beautiful course to do and, and I'm very excited to do. So it's my first one and my brother-in-law is my coach. Bruno's competed in triathlons around the world. He might be a bit biased, but this one ranks among his top courses. If you look around uh, all the bridges, um, the entire course is uh, just gorgeous and uh, I think it's a must do uh, for other people. Ironman Village is getting set up to welcome more than 3,100 athletes from 18 to 81 years old. Crossing the finish line will be a big accomplishment for all. We can't yeah. wait to cross the finish line. <laughs> I can't wait. And we are so excited to cheer all those athletes on. Coming up at 6 tonight, hear from the race director, Brian. He kind of helps organize everything. He oversees the whole process. He's going to tell us about all the hard work it takes to put this event on. We're reporting live in Chattanooga, Kayla Strayer, News Channel 9. Thanks, Kayla. Ross's Landing is the central hub for anyone hoping to watch those athletes compete. That's where the competitors get out of the river, start their biking, and end their run. And with Ironman comes road closures. Riverfront Parkway closed this morning between Aquarium Way and Molly Street and Chestnut Street between Aquarium Way and Riverfront Parkway. And the southbound Veterans Bridge ramp also closed. The closures will last until Monday. For a full list of, of road closures, go to our website, newschannel9.com. The adults aren't the only ones getting ready for the Ironman competition. Children also have an opportunity to compete. It's called the Iron Kids Fun Run and will start on Saturday at 9 in the morning at Ross's Landing. The two distances of the fun run are a mile and half a mile for ages 3 to 13.